All right, Traders, here we are. We got to get this thing out today. It shouldn't take me more than about an hour, less than an hour, actually. All I got left to do is unbolt the transmission, bell housing bolts, and the torque converter bolts, and the motor mounts, and then we done. Get this out and get the uh, cookie monster in here and get the motor out of it. Hopefully, we can set this one down in that one, too, today. You know, run out of time. So, boy, it's cold out here. That's the plan. Uh, as you can see, I, I got it all stripped down the other day. So we looking good. Oh yeah. So, well, I gotta get it jacked up before I can get under it. And then uh, when I get the motor out, the other one set down, I'll come back and show y'all where we're at. I'll holler at y'all taters in a bit. y'all right there i get this out and i'll holler at y'all taters in a bit we got it out sitting in the floor now you can see what we all did what we did under here we changed out the k member so i'll come back and show y'all this ours is <coughs> extremely dirty <coughs> excuse me swapped the k member out we put in uh this manual steering took power steering out that way it was easier to work around the uh the 400, which is going to have a 350 in here, and then that's another 400. And you can really see those mounts right here, you know, where we offset ours. You know, some people might not say it's good or bad to do this or whatever, but everything I looked at, it, it didn't hurt or just hurt the performance of the motor, so... We just didn't opt to cut this out right here. 
they make a kit that you put in here and you notch this back and it sets it back in I don't know inch and a half two inches that it goes back just enough to allow the distributor to turn you know we, we didn't want to cut all that up and have to deal with with the inside yet you know what I mean we still might uh, this car is a work in progress but we want to get the other motor in and get it all running and get playing with it with a setup that's in and then later on down the road once we get this bigger motor running in it and the car set up for a lot more horsepower um we'll think about it but it's down the road anyways i just want to show y'all where i was at i got this out we get cookie monster unloaded and uh in the shop i'll be back i'll y'all in a bit all right y'all we got cookie in here comes my dad right there let's get a look at this motor no mop but I ain't gonna bore y'all with us taking this one out i don't know I don't know nothing talking to these camera about taking this one apart. So, yeah, let's just see where we're at. Why don't I get it all tore down and get it swinging? I'll come back. Like I said, y'all seen this one. We're going to put this one right back in here. Take this one out and put in the Mustang. It's an older 350. I think it's a... Think, ain't this a four-boat main, Daddy? Yeah, I think so. I yeah, so. Anyways, all right, we're going to get busy. And uh, when I get back, I'll show you. Look, the phone. Uh, where we're at. Uh, one more shot of this. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen a good shot of old cookie. This is a 54 GMC. But, anyways, got plans for this thing later on. I'll show y'all on the channel. Kind of making a rat rodish, sort of. Not as radish, but. Anyways, I gotta get busy. Y'all see all this rat snacks under here. So, uh, I'll holler at y'all taters in a bit. Sorry about the noise, y'all. I wanted to show y'all where we was at. My dad's up in there, unbolting everything. But, we should have it out in, I don't know, an hour. But give y'all a look. Say hi to everybody, Daddy. Hey! Alright, I'll holler at y'all in a bit. He gave it up. He didn't want to, but he gave it up. But anyway, it's out. It's swinging. Y'all you know, see the little spot man earlier. I guess I should have used that instead of the cherry picker, but a good thing I didn't because now we can just go right in and out. But she's out. We're going to move the truck and then we done for tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm nasty. You see me? Look at me. I'm dirty. So, uh, yeah. We're going to get the truck pushed out and call it a night and uh, yep y'all have a good one